Hey YouTube, it's me Morgan, and this video is going to be a bit of me showing you how I straighten my curly hair from Sheena's Hair Emporium. Um, a lot of you guys wanted me to do a video on straightening the hair, and I told y'all I don't like straight hair, but I kind of do want to see what the hair looks like straight because I do have a closure, and I never had my hair straight with a closure, so I really want to see how it looks. So I will be straightening my whole head, which is kind of rare, but... I'm going to do it, and if you guys are concerned about my arm, I gave blood like two hours ago. Um, yeah, it's like my seventh time, but I think everybody should give blood if you are eligible to or whatever. But anyway, um, as you can see, I already straightened a little section of the hair, and yes, the hair does straighten, as you can see. So yeah. Um, today I will be straightening the ha hair with this, which is my InStyler. Um, the InStyler company sent me this, um, uh, along with a silver one, which I gave to my mom. And my mom bought an InStyler like four years ago or something. So this is the smaller barrel one. So I'll be using this to straighten the hair. And I wanted to use this because I feel like the InStyler uses less heat on the hair whereas a flat iron it clamps down on the hair and it's just like and it pulls it I just feel like that's a lot of like tugging with this it's not as like harsh to me but I usually do straighten hair with this which is my Solia flat iron I got this one Folica and it was like $90 I believe so yeah I'll be using this and I'll show you how I use it and I did already put heat protectant on the hair. I used the Garnier Fruit Teas um, heat protectant, which I'm going to stop using because it does have alcohol in it, which will dry your hair out. So, yeah, clearly this hair gets straight with the InStyler, so I'm pretty sure it will get straight with the um, flat iron too. But I'm going to show you guys how I install the hair. I'm just going to show you this little section. Okay, so what you do, and I hope my camera doesn't shut off, but you're going to want to like brush the hair out, and I'm going to redo that piece, but you brush the hair out, and this piece is already straight, but you want the brush part of the inside to be on top, and the barrel to be on the bottom, and you just start, and you just let it glide. Okay, so that was just a straight piece, but with the curly piece that I'm going to show you, you're going to want to grab, like, smaller pieces when you use the InStyler and not big pieces. And I usually run the InStyler through the hair twice and then one more time towards the bottom because it is hard to get the ends of the curly hair straightened with the InStyler. So this is after one. This is after two. And that's after three. So this is what all the hair looks like so far. Um, with the end styler when it's straightened with that. And I kind of like it better with the end styler because it does, it's not like, well it is really straight, but it looks like it has more body and whatnot. I'll show you guys a piece with the flat iron though. Okay, so I have my flat iron on 400 degrees. And I'm just going to show you it on um, flat iron. So you start at the top. And just go down and I know there's many different ways of flat iron and many methods like the method where you have a comb behind it and you chase it with the comb I, but it's um, getting straight I feel like I have to 
slide it through more than three times to get it. But if I turn it up, the heat on the flat iron, it probably will get straighter faster. But I don't want to like kill the hair, so I'm just not going to use the flat iron. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep using this in styler. Okay, so I just flat, well, in style this whole side and I put flexi rosin because I want to see what it will look like. Um, flexi rod it for like 30 minutes, I guess. I'm going to leave the flexi rosin while I um, straighten this side, which has more hair and it's going to take longer. But um, I'm going to show you like the comparison of what it looks like just bone straight. And then with flexi rides in for like 45 minutes. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and straighten this. And I'll be back with the uh, comparison part. This is what this side, which is the straightened side, looks like. I used, um, this is what hair looks like straightened with a um, in styler. And I really did not take my time straightening this because I got tired and it's a lot of hair like this is almost four bundles of hair but um i'm pretty sure if i do go over it with this flat iron that it will get really straight but remember this is curly hair and it's very textured so it's harder to get straight um it's hard to get bone straight so i'm going to take these flexi rods down and i had them in for like 45 minutes to see if it did anything so take these down and I did switch my part to a side part. Y'all can tell it was in the middle, but I switched it to the side. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this needs some like layers or something in the front cut. But um, this is what it looks like when it was flexi rotted for like 45 minutes. So this is basically what it looks like with like a little bit of curl added to it. Like just a little bit. I only had the flexi rods in for a little bit. So um, it's not going to get like, you know, that curl. But this is what it looks like. And this is my closure. And the closure did straighten easier than the um rest of the hair and i know this looks like a wig right now because it needs like like this needs to be cut into layers but this is my closure so i'm not going to cut it but where is that comb So yeah, that's my clothes. Yeah, that's my camera cut off again. But um, yeah, I kind of like the hair better curly. Um, I would wear it straight if I could get this cut and you know get layers and everything and curl it for real, for real. It will look really cute. But I actually like this side up top. I just need some more body something going on so this is what it looks like straight in please don't comment saying it looks all it looks like a wig or whatever because I have done nothing to hair but straighten it and I already know it looks like that so I just wanted to show so this is what it looks like comes down to long down there and um yeah I hope this helped you guys um, the hair is very, very pretty, and it's really soft when it's straightened. Okay, so a lot of y'all are probably going to want to know if the hair goes back curly, and yes, it does. Um, I was going to leave the hair straight, but after staring at the mirror at myself, I decided not to because 
I really would rather have my bang cut and all this stuff going on. So I'm just going to leave it curly. So I left it straight for like 10 minutes and then I <laughs> washed it. I did use shampoo and conditioner and I used the Hello Hydration conditioner and the Color Me Happy conditioner by Herbal Essence because those are like are my one of oh, two of my favorite conditioners. Um, so yeah, after I straightened the hair and washed it, um, it does curl back up. Um, it's wet right now, so I'm gonna see if it will go back to its like real curl pattern it was before but it does feel a little bit dry okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit of Moroccan argan oil in the hair um, and so it won't be like dry or anything and I'm just gonna like scrunch it so the hair does get some more body so um, I did contact the owner of Sheena's Hair Emporium about the website issues and she said her website for ordering hair is down but you can still order hair if you go on Sheena's Hair Emporium.com I think that's the link to her website but I'll leave it below you can go to the contact page and it will have her email and her phone number I believe or like her Twitter on there and you can just contact her and tell her you're interested in purchasing purchasing some of the hair and she will give you an invoice or you can talk to her about how much it is or the length she want. Okay so yeah this is what it looks like um wet still still scrunching. Also if you have wet curly hair and you want it bigger you can flip your hair over and scrunch it. I don't know if you can see me and then just keep doing that and it does give it like you know body and stuff and I guess you can let it dry like this which that's what I'm gonna do and I did move my part to the side again cuz I'm not feeling the middle thing but don't look at it right now it's kind of messed up cuz I yeah I just washed the hair so um, I will do a video tomorrow updating you on the hair when it's dry and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helped. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll talk to you later.